Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of your folders. Like if you get mixed up, you have too many folders in my documents or whatever, you can change the color of them. And I'm going to be showing you some antivirus programs too, I think. Um, so let's start with this, the color of the folders. It's called ICF, iColor Folder, I think. Yeah, and you just install it. I'll give you the download link in the description. And when you install it, you can just click on a folder, and it should be color label. And then choose a color label. So I'm gonna choose blue, and it should change to blue like that. And for this one, I'm gonna choose red. Now it's red. And I'm gonna for this green. For this one, I'm going to choose gray. So, I've got a nice little set of color folders here. Makes that a lot easier to find them. Um, once again, it's called iColor Folder. The download link will be in the description. So, I thought that was pretty cool. And that's pretty much it for this part. So, I'm going to exit out of that. So this is where you should come up. Yeah, iColor Folder dot sort source forge dot net. Okay, first antivirus program is called AVG, free antivirus. Free dot AVG dot com. Complete internet security right here. Free basic protection. You you can just download one and use it. It's pretty good I liked it really nice I'm actually using McAfee or McPhee whatever however you pronounce it but before I had that before I got that I was using AVG and Spybot search and destroy I'm not sure I don't think I was using any other ones and this one is called Spybot search and destroy you just download it install it Actually, I'm going to do that right now. Just download from a mirror. I'll just use the first one. And I'm going to save the file. Downloading. So that's. Those are two antivirus programs. Um. AVG and Spybot Search and Destroy. So I'm just gonna wait till it's done downloading and play around the color for folders. Yeah. So that I like the I like how it looks. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think there's much to it and then there's custom just browse and make your own I think and then just put it in here so I thought I haven't made one myself but I should try it I'm not sure how I think you have to make it an icon folder maybe not um so it's almost done we'll just wait for that it's 14 megabytes or megabits and I'll just run it Choose English, click next, accept it, next, next, I don't want a desktop icon, uh, next, and install it. Okay, it should install it. Right now it's downloading additional files to the computer. Okay, so there's like 10 seconds remaining. Sorry about that. Um, and then you just like finish. It should start up. 
do you want to scan right now? Um, no, I'm going to click no. Um, it just load up. I don't think there's much to it. Okay, and there it is. You can create a registry backup if you want. Backup of your registry, whatever. Um, you just check for problems, recovery, and you can search for updates. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. Comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And the only reason I haven't really been making videos for a while right now is because I'm working on my website. Soon I'll open it up and give you guys the link, I guess. So you can go on there, there'll be a forum. And that's pretty much it. So make some requests. Thanks for watching this video. Comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos.